Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. I'm Katie Stazak, TGIF. It is Friday and we are having a great week here at Gulfstream. We've got another 10 race card on tap. Let's get right to those track and weather conditions for today's card. Fast and firm today at Gulfstream, the first race on Friday's card is a $30,000 claiming event. Phillies and Mares four-year-olds and upward will be going a mile on the main track. No scratches or jockey changes to report in the opener. They're off. Good start there for Trevi Sheik. And on the inside, it's horsing around with early speed. Farther out just got out, away running in third, then Bears Gem on the far outside. They're being funneled by Acquisition and then Spotticus and Lady Concon as Horsin' Around grabs the early lead. It is Horsin' Around up top as the field races out of the chute. Bears Gem to the outside is running in second. Trevi Sheik is third. After that, it's just got out in fourth. Then Spotticus, Acquisition, and Lady Concon and a 25 flat opening quarter mile. Up the back stretch, Horsin' Around and Josie Gomez two lengths in front. Bears Gem is running in second. Trevi Sheik is third, outside of Spotticus, who's down at the rail. After that comes Just Got Out. Acquisition seven lengths off the lead at the half-mile pole, clear from Lady Concon -Con through a 48-flat half-mile. And now the field races into the far turn, where Horsin' Around leads the way by less than two lengths. And Bears Gem is in pursuit from second. Then it's Spotticus saving all the ground in third. Trevi Sheik follows fourth, Acquisition fifth. Just got out, put to the whip in sixth, and Lady Con Con is well out of it. As Horsin' Around, a long shot continues to lead the way. Going by three quarters of a mile in one twelve and two, horsing around, turns for home in front. Running room at the rail for Spotticus and Tyler Gaffligone sends Spotticus on through. Spotticus has taken the lead. On the far outside, Acquisition is finishing well. Bears Gem is into third. Horsing around has dropped back to fourth. Late run from Just Got Out, who's closing through on the inside, down to the line. It's Spotticus. Just got out with second over acquisition. Bears Gem was fourth. Spotticus comfortably holds off the closers to take the first race. Tyler Gaffleone was in the irons for owner and trainer Michael P. DePaulo. Spotticus returned $18.80 to win. On to the second race now. This is a $75,000 mating claimer. Three-year-old fillies will be going a mile and a 16th on the turf course. They're off. Miss Relativity came out well. Unforgettable Mark on the inside now comes on through to take the lead. It's going to be Unforgettable Mark and Miss Relativity to lead them early. And Princess of Thieves rushing through on the inside to be right in behind the leaders in a tight spot there. Princess of Thieves coming up right in behind the pace setters into tight quarters into that turn. And they're being followed by Came Up Rosie to the outside as they make their way around that turn is Lovely Island. Then it's General Anne racing to the inside of Biamonte and the trailer is Cosmo Gal. 23-1 and one was the opening quarter mile onto the back stretch. Unforgettable Mark is the leader by a length and a half. Then it's Miss Relativity, Princess of Thieves on the inside, farther out Lovely Island, and then it's Came Up Rosie, Biamonte. General Anne on the inside, four and a half lengths off the lead. The trailer is Cosmo Gal, and they continue their journey up the back stretch, where the leader is Unforgettable Mark through a 46 and four half mile on top a length and a half. And then it's Miss Relativity on the outside, second. Princess of Thieves, third, racing at the rail. And then it's Lovely Island, fourth, three wide into the turn. An inside run for Edgar Zayas in General Land, and now they're moving up, and they're all the way up into third now as they make their way around the far turn. Unforgettable Mark, Princess of Thieves, angles to the outside. On the rail, General Land is two lengths off of them, now going to switch outside as they come toward the top of the stretch. And it is Unforgettable Mark turning for home in front. To the outside, Princess of Thieves, draws up alongside. General Ann is third, trying to come and get them. Biamonte fourth on the far outside. Princess of Thieves has taken the lead, but General Ann comes up on the outside and takes over. General Ann, Princess of Thieves, Biamonte late. General Ann has won it. Second very close between Princess of Thieves and Biamonte. Unforgettable Mark was fourth. General Ann takes charge in the second race. Edgar Zayas was aboard for trainer Chad Brown and owners Bradley Thoroughbreds. General Ann returned $6.20 to win. And we'll be right back with more racing after these messages. Don't go anywhere. 
Gulfstream Park is one of Florida's top entertainment destinations, mixing restaurants, clubs, a casino, and international boutique shops with world-class racing. In a lavish, sun-drenched setting with the feel of a Mediterranean village, Gulfstream is a leading year-round entertainment and tourist destination and the home of luxury residences in 2014. The Stronach family, owners of Gulfstream Park, is committed to the sport of thoroughbred racing and the grace, spirit, and generosity of the horse. Welcome back. Here's the third race. This is a starter allowance with an optional claiming tag of $10,000. Phillies and mares, four-year-olds and upward, will be sprinting six and a half furlongs on the main track. Scratch the seven, Victoriana Rose. They're off. Good beginning for Dreaming of Bella and Ya Sta. These two out for the lead, and they're joined on the outside by La Marquez, who's got early speed too, and Twinkling Time, who moves up in between horses. And then it's Miss Darla, Rebecca Surprise, near the back of the pack early on, five and a half lengths off the lead and just ahead of Capriccio Blue. So they run up the back stretch toward the half mile pole, Dreaming of Bella, La Marquez on the outside. These two a half length apart. And then it's Miss Darla running in third, just in behind them through a 22 and one quarter. Twinkling time, fourth on the inside. Then the favorite Rebecca Surprise and Paco Lopez in fifth, four lengths off the lead, progressing a bit on the far turn. Then Yasta and Capriccio Blue. It is Dreaming of Bella, La Marquez to the outside. And Rebecca's surprise has to go four wide, but is moving now. Right behind horses, twinkling time, looking for running room in fourth as they come toward the top of the stretch. Here's Rebecca's surprise, rushing up to take the lead as they turn for home. Rebecca's surprise under a hand ride here, pulling away by three, leaving the others in behind. And then it's twinkling time, followed in the outside by Miss Darla and Capriccio Blue. Coming down to the line, it's Rebecca's surprise, an easy winner. Paco Lopez just sitting on Rebecca's surprise under the line. And then it was twinkling time, Capriccio Blue and Miss Darla. The three to five favorite Rebecca's surprise coasts like a favorite should in the third race. Paco Lopez was in the irons for trainer Kelly Breen and owners USA Thoroughbreds LLC. And at this time, we would like to acknowledge and congratulate our employees of the month for the month of March. That would be the Gulfstream Park Turf Crew. Congratulations. That'll bring us to the fourth race. This is a $20,000 claimer. Phillies and mares, four-year-olds and upward, will be going a mile and a 16th on the turf course. Scratch the eight, Angela's dream. Also, Pedro Monterey Jr. will be aboard They're the off. seven. Go Rontos, go. Good beginning here for Tex Appeal. Tex Appeal straight to the early lead. On the inside comes Scorpion Alley. Wine Burglar is away running in third. Starship Shawty is fourth. And then comes Bossy Gal, followed by Go Rontos Go, Roll Baby. And last of them all is Wild Songstress as they make their way into that first turn. And Tex Appeal will set the pace. Tex Appeal by a length and a half. Wine Burglar second. Scorpion Alley third on the inside. They appear to be going at an easy opening quarter pace here. Then it's Bossy Gal, Starship Shotty to the inside, followed by Roll Baby, Gorantos Go, six lengths off the lead, and Wild Songstress, 24 and one was the opening quarter mile. They're onto the back stretch, and Tex Appeal just ambling along on the lead here by about a length with Wine Burglar sitting in second. And then it's Scorpion Alley and Bossy Gal on the outside, fourth Starship Shotty and Roll Baby, just three and a half lengths off the lead. After that, it's Go Rontos Go, and Wild Songstress has eight lengths to make up after a 48 and three half mile. Into the turn, Tex Appeal in front by a neck with Wine Burglar second to the outside. Then it's Bossy Gal, Scorpion Alley to the inside, followed by Starship Shotty. Roll Babies dropping back. Wild Songstress trying to get going and go Rontos go. Around the far turn, Tex Appeal taken on now by Wine Burglar with Bossy Gal moving up on the outside of them. Scorpion Alley is fourth in behind the leaders. And then it's Wild Songstress and Starship Shotty. They're into the stretch. And now Wine Burglar pokes ahead in front. Tex Appeal tries to fight back. Scorpion Alley's there on the outside. These three into the final furlong. Scorpion Alley to the front, leaving Wine Burglar and Tex Appeal behind. Javier Castellano and Scorpion Alley win going away. Wine Burglar, Tex Appeal, Bossy Gal was fourth. Scorpion Alley draws off to take the fourth race. Javier Castellano was the winning jockey for trainer Philip Serpy and owners drawing away stable. Scorpion Alley paid $5.20 to win. On to the fifth race now. This is a maiden special weight. Phillies and mares, four-year-olds and upward will be going a mile on the main track.
they're off. Samantha Nicole took a stumble coming out of the start here. It is Spanish Flower on the outside. Charming Delilah with early speed. Coronet is close up too. And then it's One Night followed by Rachel's Temper and Street Smoke on the inside. They're all out for the early lead as the field races out of the chute and onto the back stretch. And they're being followed by Samantha Nicole, who's just to the inside of Gemma Bell. And now five lengths separates the field through a 23 and three opening quarter mile. Up the back stretch they go. And it is Street Smoke on the inside, battling up front with Coronet. And these two are stride for stride on the lead. Spanish Flower third to the outside of them. Then it's Rachel's Temper fourth along the rail. Charming Delilah's after that. Samantha Nicole, who had that early bobble at the break five lengths off the lead and racing inside of Gemma Bell in one night 46 and four for a half mile around the far turn street smoke is the leader Coronet moves up alongside in second Spanish flower three wide in third charming Delilah fourth and handy in between horses then Rachel's temper to the inside one night is next and Gemma Bell and now Samantha Nicole just not going on at all Samantha Nicole is last and not keeping up as they come to the top of the stretch and it's a 40 to 1 shot street smoke that turns for home in front but charming delilah comes on and these two pass the eighth pole with charming delilah taking over the lead javier castellano and charming delilah pulling away from street smoke and spanish flower on the outside charming delilah strong under the wire won it by about seven in the end tight second spanish flower or street smoke and then one night charming delilah impressively draws off in the fifth race breaking her maiden in her fourth career start and second start on dirt javier castellano gets his second win of the day this one is for trainer sidetard and owner stronic stables and after the race, winning trainer Sidetard said the way Charming Delilah came out of her last race had him feeling confident. She's always show us she's going to be nice filly. Some horses like that take a couple of races. But since she ran down here last race, she really come around. She really trained good. She feel good. I mean, she was training really good for this race. There's a new day dawning in Florida. Never before has a Breeders' Cup Classic winner retired to stud in the Sunshine State. Until now. Adina Springs presents three-time grade one winner and earner of over $4 million, Fort Larned. New to Adina Springs South. The sixth race is a $6,250 claiming event. Phillies and mares, four-year-olds, and upward non-winners of two lifetime will be going a mile on the main track. Scratch the four, keep in mind. They're off. Mimi's dream was slow into stride. Fair Shake came out of the gate well. Mongolian Honey also with early speed from the inside. These two out for the lead with Seduccion away running in third along the rail as the field races out of the chute. A Fleet Alley is fourth on the far outside and racing five lengths off the lead. Then a tight pack behind them. Bullheaded Lady Mimi's Dream who started a bit slowly now coming through on the inside and they're being followed by Lover Gone Wild Joaquina and Little Zoe at the back of the field. And they went 24 and 1 for the opening quarter mile. Up the back stretch, Fair Shake the leader ahead of Mongolian Honey by three quarters of a length. Three lengths more and then comes Seduccion. Mimi's Dream making progress on the rail. Then a Fleet Alley dropping back followed by Bullheaded Lady. Three lengths to Lover Gone Wild and then Joaquina and Little Zoe at the back after a four 47 and two half mile fair shake a half length on mongolian honey mimi's dream right in behind them now two lengths off the lead bullheaded lady now goes by her and bullheaded lady is charging up to the top two midway on the far turn then seduccion and a fleet alley but bullheaded ladies under a full head of steam here and is right up alongside a fair shake three quarters in one 12 and four and bullheaded lady turns for home in front Fair shake, here's Mimi's dream rallying up the rail, and then Mongolian Honey back to fourth, final furlong, it's Bullheaded Lady, and Mimi's dream, to the outside comes Fair Shake, as they come down to the wire, it's going to be Bullheaded Lady. Bullheaded Lady will beat her stablemate Mimi's dream by five lengths. Fair Shake was third, and Mongolian Honey was fourth. 
Bullheaded Lady prevails in the sixth race, giving jockey Tyler Gaffleone his second win of the day. This one is for trainer Peter Walder and owners Eagle Racing Stables and Aventura Stable. Bullheaded Lady paid $8 for her win. That'll bring us to the seventh race, a $35,000 maiden claimer. Three-year-olds and upward will be going seven and a half furlongs on the turf course. They're off. Very good beginning. Wild Force is sent along to the outside. There goes Lady St. Clements and Wild Magic and right up there to Strategicon. And they're being followed by Tolik fifth on the inside as they race into the turn. On the far outside, moving up is Junior G-Man. Then a break of a length and a half to iPhone Addiction. On the outside, Gray Bow and Ready Mecky is well behind early. Nine lengths off the lead. The leader is Wild Magic. Paco Lopez and Wild Magic head on to the back stretch in front to half a length. Lady St. Clemens on the outside, second. These two, one, two for the run up the back stretch. Then it's Junior G-Man to the outside. They went 23 and three for the quarter. These three just ahead of Wild Force running in fourth along the rail. Then Strategic on Gray Bow in between horses. iPhone Addictions, five lengths off the lead. Then it's Talik and Ready Mecky just biding time at the back with nine lengths to make up as they continue the run for the far turn. And it's Wild Magic, Lady St. Clements and Eckback, Junior G-Man outside of them, 47 and three for a half mile. Then Strategicon coming up there four wide. On the far outside, it's iPhone Addiction. Down toward the inside, Wild Force still about two lengths off the lead. Then Gray Bow and Ready Mecky continues to lag behind, but starts to get closer now. Within five lengths of the lead, Tolik is well behind, and they're into the stretch. And it's Wild Magic in front. To the outside comes Junior G-Man. And having to take up there was Ready Mecky outside of Strategicon. Here come Lady St. Clements and Wild Force. As they come down to the line, Ready Mecky trying to get re-involved on the far outside. And it's going to be Wild Force. From Lady St. Clements, a troubled Ready Mecky and Wild Magic. Wild Force rallies between horses to get up in the seventh race. Luca Panici was the winning jockey for trainer Giuseppe Iadisernia and owners Northwest Stud Stables. Wild Force paid $10 to win. The eighth race is a starter allowance with an optional claiming tag of $35,000. Three-year-olds will be going a mile on the main track. Scratch the five, dance of freedom. They're off. Rizwan is sent down to there with some early speed. On the far outside is Abbasseb Brothers, fast out of the gate, too. And then it's Oki Meister running in between horses with Hoarder in that group as well. Northern Call also close up to the pace. As the field races out of the chute, it's going to be Abbasseb Brothers to lead the way. Cool Union Man now up into second position. And then it's Oki Meister third to the inside, followed by Northern Call in fourth. On the far outside, Hoarder goes up in fifth. Fastidious Son splitting horses. Rizwan's down on the inside, and the trailer is Changemaker. They went 23 and 2 for the quarter. Tightly packed. The field moves up the back stretch. Cool Union Man on the inside. Alongside is Oki Meister. These two head and head. Abbaseb Brothers is there. Outside of them, Fastidious Son is fourth and moving toward the leaders. After that comes Northern Call. Rizwan to the inside, just three lengths behind. Dropping back is Hoarder and then Changemaker. A 40 six and one half mile around the far turn and fastidious son has taken over the lead it is now fastidious son in front over abbaseb brothers northern call is moving up on the far outside then it's cool union man and rizwan and they're coming to the top of the stretch fastidious son turning for home in front javier castellano and fastidious son have a two-length lead at the eighth pole Cool Union Man, second, Rizwan, third on the outside, down to the last 16th. Fastidious Son in front, Rizwan up into second and closing. Fastidious Son, Rizwan trying to make a late move on the outside, these two. And Fastidious Son holds off Rizwan. Then it was Cool Union Man, Oki Meister was fourth. Sappy Joseph Jr. claimed Fastidious Son two starts back, and he has not lost since. He draws off nicely to take the eighth race, giving jockey Javier Castellano his third win of the day. Fastidious Son's owners are East End Partners, Sappy Joseph, and Thoroughbred Acquisition Group. And after the race, winning trainer Sappy Joseph Jr. talked about the claim and the run today. Well, when, when he ran second time out, we had a horse that ran in the same maiden special race, and we finished third, and we thought our horse was a decent horse, so we figured when he saw him in for 25 that 
he, he would be worth the money once he was fairly sound. And what did you think of, of the run from him today? I thought today he ran good. He got, he got a little rank down the back stretch, but he, he, did that. he was good enough to, help, to hold on. So we'll take the, take the win and try to get him next time again. Not all days are created equal. Some surpass expectation. Few are destined for greatness. This is one of those days. With $1 million hanging in the balance, rivals look to settle the score. Days just don't get any bigger. The Bezalou Stables Florida Derby, March 28th, first race 12 p.m. The road to the Triple Crown runs through Gulfstream Park. Glad to have you back with us. Let's get to the final two races of the day. The ninth is a $20,000 claimer. Four-year-olds and upward, which have not won two races, will be going five furlongs on the turf course. They're off. Nantucketeer and Guadambero came out quickly. These two out for the lead, and then it's Little Tom. Oration is away running in fourth to the outside. The battle is on his fifth early on, and then comes Unlocked, who's already six lengths off the lead as the top two fly. Then MySpace Cowboy, Sun Bio to the outside, Sugar Dandy, and Spa City Treasure is well out of it early. Guadambero and Nantucketeer, and they're going at it on the turn in 20 and four fifth seconds, and Guadambero gets away from Nantucketeer and opens up two. And then it's Little Tom. Oration's got five lengths to make up. Then comes the battle is on in MySpace Cowboy, and they're into the stretch. And it's Guadambero and Tyler Gaffleyone with a four-length lead. The battle is on trying to cut into that gap up the rail, though. Guadambero, here's the battle is on. Right on by. The battle is on to the front. Unlocked way in the middle of the course up for second. The battle is on to beat Unlocked. And maybe MySpace Cowboy in a photo with Guadambero for third. The battle is on, prevails in race nine, giving Edgar Zayas his second win of the day. The winning trainer, J. David Braddy, and the winning owners, Champion Equine LLC. The battle is on, paid $14.60 to win. The 10th and final race on Friday's card is a $12,500 maiden claimer. Three-year-olds will be sprinting five and a half furlongs on the main track. Scratch the one and the 12. They're off. Steel City Baby off a step slowly. Good beginning here for Rocket Man Richie, who goes out to the front. With Mighty Warrior away second, Creative Quality is third. Break of three to Zvetik, who's running in fourth early on. And then comes Lonesome Jay, followed by Tequila with a lime to the inside. Kuliki Taka goes up on the far outside. Then I'm Sensational. No Brody, no along the rail. To the river is next. Then it's Steel City Baby. And at the back of the field, it's Nucky's Pal. They're racing on the far turn at 22 and four opening quarter mile. For Rocket Man, Richie, Mighty Warriors, a neck back in second. Creative quality, two lengths off of them. Zvetik follows in fourth, and Kuliki Taka, followed by Lonesome Jay, and I'm Sensational to the outside. And then No Brody No, and they're coming to the top of the stretch. Rocket Man, Richie, turning for home in front with a two and a half length lead here on Creative Quality, who's now second on the outside, trying to close the gap. Mighty Warrior is back running in third. Rocket Man, Richie, trying to stave off Creative Quality, who's making a race of it, but Rocket Man, Richie, Richie's got it, and Rocket Man Richie will win from Creative Quality. I'm Sensational came late for third. Mighty Warrior was fourth, then a photo between No Brody No and Zvetik. Rocket Man Richie and Edgar Prado get the job done in the 10th race. Marcus Vitali was the winning trainer for owner Michael Dubb. Rocket Man Richie paid $3.40 to win. And speaking of payoffs, here are the rest of them from our exotic wagers. The pick four, 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 eighty-five dollars and sixty-five cents. There will be a hundred thousand dollar guaranteed jackpot pool in the late pick four on Saturday's card. The pick five, four of five, five dollars and thirty cents. Five of five, two hundred seventy-two dollars and eighty-five cents. There will be a fifty thousand dollar guaranteed jackpot pool in the pick five on Saturday. 
and the Rainbow Six. Six of six, $478.60. There will be a $100,000 guaranteed jackpot pool in Saturday's Rainbow Six. That wraps up Friday's action. Tomorrow is Saturday, and we have a pair of grade two stakes races on the card for older fillies and mares. The inside information at seven furlongs and the Royal Delta at a mile and a 16th. In the inside information, Mary Meadow will look for her fourth straight stakes victory in South Florida after registering a one and three quarter length win in the Sky Beauty Stakes at Gulfstream Park West in November. The Mark Henning trainee proceeded to reel off wins in Gulfstream's grade three sugar swirl, and most recently, the grade three here comes the bride on February 14th. That win might have been the most visually impressive of her career. She sprinted away from the field that day by an eye opening nine and a half lengths. The Royal Delta field includes House Rules, who is on a two race winning streak of her own. After running off with a Bal Harbor overnight handicap on January 2nd, she came right back to earn the first graded stakes victory of her career in the grade three rampart on February 21st. Sheer Drama finished second in that race and also returns for the Royal Delta, as does the Dale Romans trained Molly Morgan, who won a pair of grade two stakes last year and is grade one stakes placed. You do not want to miss any of tomorrow's 12 race card. I'll see you right back here tomorrow to recap all the action. Thanks for watching Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. I'm Katie Stazak.